Hi everyone, we are going to start the next video for in class number eight. If you will do a file open, the file that we want to get is in the folder in class eight and nine. If you will double click and open up glass window and jacket, I'll do both in class eight and nine together just because they're pretty simple and straightforward. We're going to start with the glass window. This is what the glass window looks like. And your responsibility with the glass window is actually to completely remove the green tree all the way from the right edge to the left right in this pane right here. How would you go about doing that? Let me give you a few tips and tricks and then I will um, show you a few of those and then let the time just be up to you to take the time to make that happen. We're going to use a few tools here. We're going to actually use the patch tool. You share the patch tool with the spot healing to brush tool. There's your patch tool. We're also going to use your clone tool and we're going to also use your smudge tool right underneath your paint bucket. If you click, it's the blur tool on top, but the smudge tool is the third one down. So we're going to use those three tools in order to begin getting this tree out of the glass window. Please spend the time to make it look as good as possible. It's worth five points, but you learn so much being able to do that. We're going to start with your patch tool. I'm going to unlock your background and I'm just going to call it remove the tree from glass so we know that that's what we're doing. Okay. Then what I'm going to do is I realize I want to get a patch for this portion right here. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to try and match this patch down here just like I'd make a patch for a hole that I would have in my knee. So it looks something like this. If I do a patch and I think, oh, let me try that again, just do edit undo, or you can use the keyboard stroke as well, and then just try again. You can see the patch being recorded because you can see the patch icon there. Now if I pick this up and move it, I need to, I will get have a hole in my glass window. So in order to make this work correctly, I've got to hold on to my Alt key, then slide it up, and I get a copy of this patch. So there is a copy of my patch. Now I have my move selected. I've also turned on my Show Transform Controls so that I could get the two-headed arrow on the rotation up in the left or right hand corner and I can just shift this just enough that it will match the diagonal of this window pane. I'm completely done. I can click here to check to say yes this is what I want or I can double click inside of here. I'm going to turn off my show controls, show transform controls and I realize control D will get rid of your selection that it's a little bit lighter down here than it is up here. This is where we use our clone tool. So I'm going to go grab my clone tool. It is measured by a brush. If I look in here and I try to get in this corner, I'm going to have a little bit too big of a brush. So I'm going to grab my brush size and change it to make it a little bit smaller. Stay around 13 pixels, 10 to 13 pixels. Then I'm going to hold on to my Alt key and I'm going to take a picture of what I want to clone. It's like loading your paintbrush with paint. Now I'm just going to clone in this color. It does get diluted like a paintbrush, so every once in a while go back up, Alt, click with your left mouse, and add in the new color. Alt, click, be careful not to hit that outside pane or you're going to get that color in there. Alt click and sometimes you have to reduce your butt, your brush size as well. Alt click, I just reload after about five. Alt click, 
alt click okay now I'm going to use my smudge tool this is your smudge tool and I'm going to carefully just make markings I'm left clicking and holding on to it and I'm just blending all of this blue together like I'm smudging the cake that I've licked the frosting off of so now if you look at this window pane you can hardly tell that I have removed the tree we're going to do the same thing down here with our clone tool this one I'm going to get a little bit bigger brush to be able to do this so I'll make my brush a little bit bigger hold on to my alt key and just get this tree out of there just going to stay right here in the center to get the tree. <coughs> and then I'm going to reduce my brush size to a very small brush to get inside this corner. Alt click and I can get over the top of this green here. Alt click. Alt. Alt click. Probably needed to stay in that brush just a little bit bigger takes a lot of time to be able to do that in a small brush. Alt click. So I've got that color in there. Okay, now I look right here and I can see, wow, you know, I don't want to restructure all of this. How would I edit that? So I'm going to go and I'm just going to grab another patch again. And with my patch, you know, I look right here and I think, oh, if I made a patch a little similar to that, could I make this work? So I'm just going to kind of grab a patch. Remember, I'm going to go to my Move tool, Show Transform Controls so I can see it. Hold on to your Alt key so it takes a copy. And I'm going to carefully place this right here in this window pane. See how I did that? I might have to shift it just one pixel so that all the diagonals fit. But that's so much faster than having to recreate that. And once again, I'll use my Clone tool and I'll fix these colors in here as well. And then I'll use my smudge tool and I'll blend all of this together. So your job on this assignment is to completely remove the entire tree using these elements to show you how to do it.